this is not our first radio, even though it may seem like it, it may look like it, but we're out here. We've been here before. With another episode of, what are we doing? What is this build, show called? Hold on, what is it? Uh, build, build. build the Burnout. Resets, resets, resets. Burnout. Yeah, uh, mm. Build this Breakdown. Is, welcome back to Build Breakdown. There Today you go. we have a special guest, one of Gary's boys, my boys. Ooh. So this car was actually one of the first cars I hosted for daily transmission, so I've seen oh, this thing. I was there. Oh, Gary! There. Corey held it down. I didn't have anything to wear. I came with no shirt. He gave me his camouflage <laughs> sweater. <laughs> welcome back to another episode of... <laughs> Gary came and looked like a WWF wrestler, but the thing is this is the body of an athlete. This is the body of a professional. Look at that, this dude. Lean and mean. Let's stop messing around. Yeah, Let's yeah, go yeah. get interview this good man. This is how you do it. You know, if you're going to claim it's your dream car, don't have it sit in your garage. Don't cry about prices. And I'm sure just like this young man over here with this beautiful smile Look and nonchalant I'm broke, face. Cole. You Bro. see this thing? My name is Otis Dixon. This is my S15 Sylvia. It's back. It's a little bit new. No more SR. I should have went V8, but you already know oh, what's up. Wait you know a up, second. Bro. Come on. We said I should have went V8. Right. I was going to throw some shade at Michael, but Michael's my boy, and it's too hot for that, so I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> all this V8 right power is keeping them away from the wall at Grange, though, right? Oh. Damn, that all that V8 power. Because when's the last time you drove Grange? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When's okay. the last time you drove Laguna Seca? Woohoo! Forza. No. Listen, we should not be, I'm not the topic. We, we I'm not the topic. Can't. Otis is here. Otis. Show us what you did different to this bad boy. So uh, no more SR. Yeah, no. no more SR. SR is gone. Wait, when you did Daily Trance, you had an SR in it yeah. right then. Hold on, before SR, you open this. No more SR. Should have went V8. So he probably has. <laughs> uh, sh let him show us. <laughs> Come on, you got some spicy see, see some I got an LS3. Look at that. Okay. You see that? You see that? Okay. I'll tell you what, it is hey. beautiful. You see that? It's I, all I, shine I, and no go, but look. we're gonna try to go today. <laughs> all oh, shine and no go. Look at this thing. Right? <laughs> the big board just posting on the top. You're giving that FD guy a run for his money right now with yeah. all this RB in here. Yeah. This thing is beautiful. Making what, 717? So hopefully it runs. I didn't really go crazy. This is like eBay manifold, eBay uh, exhaust manifold. I just only spent money where it need to be. eBay. <laughs> That's eBay now? Yeah. eBay that, is damn. Yeah, they stepped their game up. Wait, I want to. I, I got a question. Hold on. Why does it when everybody with the RB pops their hood saying, first thing he says, I hope it runs this session? It's, it's, it's. You, you, you can yeah. did you, Were you saying that with the SR? Nah, the SR just works. I did like 50 <laughs> or 60 events without any problems at all. Let's, let's be honest. For the dawn of time, everybody's used SRs. There's not a lot of GTRs compared especially to S chassis overseas. So when you get an RB26, it's I don't like, know what guy was running down the freakies or some dude was just under ocean. The fact that he made it here, I'm happy. I own a. I mean, Otis, you got a hell of a lot of wiring, a hell of a lot of yeah, parts. Yeah, it's a whole mess in here, but it all comes together and it works good when it's working. I got twin Turbo Smart 50 mil waste gates, the Turbo's EFR 8374. I think it's a 1.05 rear. And then I have 2200 CC injectors. Those are just Bosch Motorsports. They work. I didn't have to spend any crazy money. Uh, the eBay throttle body didn't work, so I had to get this Ross Performance one. Mustang TPS. My alternator took a crap last event, so I switched to a DC Swore alternator. LS base, right? Yep, LS base. They said keep it LS. LS. They said don't go RB. They said stay away from RB, whatever you do. That's let, what they told let me. Let me ask you this. What was the <laughs> hardest part of the swap going from an SR to this? Dealing with transmission issues. There's not really many transmission options for RBs and twin plates. So okay. that was the hardest part. Like, I think I would have been done by December and it took a whole year because I was dealing with transmission issues. What? Luckily, this guy helped me out. Yeah. Yeah. Micah did? Yeah. Hey, Micah, thanks for looking stuck. out for our boy. I hey, stuck. Stuck. He, gave, he gave me a number. So you said you had transmission issues. What are you working with now? G-Force, GSR, four speed. Dog and, box? Uh, yep. In a this? Yeah, in a street car. In a it street was a street car, you know, I still played it, but. Hey, know, I'm, it. I'm not here to talk about logistics. Logistics, all I know hey, it's, is it's, it's great, let me tell you. Yeah. Nah, it's great. Micah Diaz helped you out with a dog box transmission. Yeah, well, this, he, helped, he helped me get it rebuilt. I helped him f talk to the people who could help him. G4 South, okay. so that's the guys that helped me out. <laughs> I'm tired of your helmet rolling around your trunk? Fed up with looking like a track peasant? 
Hoonigan is here to help with our new helmet bag. Stole your helmet and your suit. Available now at Hoonigan.com. Get yours today. So as far as like wheels, suspension, is everything the same or did you tweak anything? I see some yeah. green. Yeah, this feel feels everything. Feel 442s. Okay. Is that like external reservoir? Uh, yeah. Oh, sick. So that's why I mean I don't really need to bump up uh, spring rates. I could just change compression and I'm fine. I'm not sure. Last time I think I had a GTR diff. That thing broke like twice. Damn. So now I'm running a 370Z diff, the mm. auto diff. Yeah. That's more like a... <laughs> what? You're yeah, GTR diff sucks. Huh? <laughs> you know, everything that was supposed to be pure and true just broke. And then some kid at a <laughs> local takeover's car broke and Otis was probably like, ah, I'll take that moment. <laughs> <laughs> a local takeover. <laughs> so for you, from the weight from the SR to the RB, do you notice it? I can tell the difference. Really? Not a difference. Oh, you know, I can tell in videos, my car's bouncy, mm. but I actually like that. Cause I feel like with the soft settings, like I get grip. Wait, can we check out the eBay again? <laughs> eBay really stepped yeah. the game up, right? And it, this held 700 to 17 horsepower? Yep. No leaks, no creeps, oh, no nothing? Oh, no, it had leaks. We had the deck it. That's oh, for sure, okay. it had leaks right on the dyno. Oh, well, so for you pe people buying stuff off eBay, okay. intake manifolds, make sure you flatten them joints out cause they be warped. Going I, I try to keep it stock and simple. I mean, it, everything's link ECU, uh, link dash. Oh, yeah. Okay. So my got, got the big screen right, right here. The door right? Chime, okay. Ooh. Oh yeah, everything's still door beeping chime. and working. The links in the glove box is all tucked in there. It's hidden. There shouldn't be anything too crazy Hold on, in there. Wait, can you pop the glove boxes? Let's see. Yeah, pop the glove boxes. Okay, it, it'll fall down. It's just some wires. It's oh, up in there. Oh, I thought you had the. Oh wait, it's up in there. It's yeah, it's up, up in, in there. there. Got it tucked in the glove box. Okay, <laughs> that's you nice. A fresh look. So that's richer work right there. The B side fabrication. Yeah. What seats are these? PBM seats. I have PBM suspension, so I kind of wanted to keep everything matching if I could. I found these and I ditched my other carbon Kevlar seats and I just went with these. That's it's clean about style, so I try to keep the style. I noticed the remote reservoir for the handbrake. That's pretty gangster. I never thought about that. You know what? Like, it, it should have been in the center console, but I can't fit in the center console. No, but that's clean though. Yeah, so I, I had to put it somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. The best mod of this thing is still having some cup holders, you know right? what I mean? That's like, that's Have cool. a little <laughs> drinky drink. <laughs> Those are kind of small yeah. though. You can't you fit a the, big gulp in there. Well, no? this, is, this is a Japanese that's car. Right. The proportions in Japan. <laughs> Are really small. A lot smaller. Yeah, the thing is, squeeze it's only this big around. You know what I mean? You can <laughs> get four squeezes in that thing easy. <laughs> see? Solids. What yes. color though? What color? See, I can do some blue and red. Mm, Corey, okay. that's why hey. you're my man. <laughs> Radio still work? No, that doesn't work. That's just for show. See, yeah. I thought we were gonna go full JDM right now. Sure. Oh, I mean, nah, that's that's a Kenwood, uh, dog. I don't be rolling with no Alpines. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the hood. <laughs> Wait, I see some. Uh, we we got some switches off to the left of the wheel there. What is that? Uh, that's for two step and uh, boost. Ooh. So I don't oh. use those. That's that's for like uh, people that can't drive. They just hit those switches. Oh you know? wow. You gotta I actually wow. drive. So I, I just, set I just it, forget right it there. button. Set it and forget set. it. Two steps on on the top anyway on red line. Well, like, oh, so yeah. if I hit red line, it's just gonna come on. The rev limiter. Yeah. That's that's the two-step. That's two-step, yeah. Just hold, hold the gas down. So it's full kitted, you got over fenders. This is all D-Max, and then these are origin. The only other thing was the rear end, so to put that 370Z diff in, we had yeah. to cut the subframe, push the diff all the way up, and then I had to buy uh, the drive shaft shop pro axles. Any problem with those? No, everything's solid What now. drive shaft are you actually running? Uh, I'm running like custom. Drive, yeah, in drive the drive line? Yeah, yeah. Those are the boys. I'm running the big boy stuff now. Let's, look at, you let's can't. look at the dog box again. <laughs> I know you can only see the shift in it, but you got that. Ooh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Does it have a that's, reverse? That's it. Yeah, it's got a reverse. Yep. It's like bicycle gear status, yeah. but oh, it, it goes. It. Yeah, you gotta put it in first it. before you put it in reverse. What's this bad boy mm -hmm. sound like? You're talking all this head. I hope it sounds good it as sound you talk. It sounds like a whole bunch of metal gears you, grinding, you hear this but man? it Excuses. feels good. Excuses. <laughs> Fire this thing up. I want to hear it. Yeah. You gonna give us a okay, she's purring? Yeah, it takes a while to order. There you go. There you go. There we go. That's a stubborn startup, huh? I like it's it. It's on E85? It's on E, yeah, that's Hell fine. Yeah. I got that tuck radiator. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to put my radiator in the rear. I think I get to like 220 in one lap at the track. This thing's just going downhill. Yeah. You're like, it's, it's, like, it's a money pin. I have brushless fans. Those are uh, 2400 CFMs each, so they're Delta pack, but. Are you on stock internals? All stock. Just tons of boost. 717 stock engine? Yeah, all Wait, stock. how many pounds of boost? Uh, 29. Damn. No head studs, no nothing? I didn't touch it, I just pulled on it. I made it shiny. I made it My shiny. Man. <laughs> Otis, 
if you don't touch it, it probably won't break. It did four events. That's more than most RVs will do. If it's not broken, See, that's not broken, don't fix it. Got, yeah, but this thing is like hard to drive now. I don't get boost till 5,000. Oh, it's oh. hard to drive? It's really hard to drive. Oh, this, we got a so little like, spot we gotta do some for driving, you. boys. I believe that Otis has a miracle. <laughs> This is the part of this. Much right there. That's RB dust flow. If I would have had an eight, that shit would have been crazy. Can we acknowledge <laughs> the fact that he parked an S15 on a K rail and you went to second gear? Yeah. Went into I second gear. I tried to get in fourth, but the, the, car, the, the engine didn't catch on fire. The car just was like, no, no. Got so scared, it started peeing everywhere. Yo. I don't care what kind of engine you got, what kind of chassis you got, unless you park it against a K rail and just say full sin like my man. Hey, I learned from this guy. <laughs> I swear. He's always going to my car. Don't do what we do. I need you to take your car sideways and drive on some freaking Nutty Professor type shit, all right? Nah, Mike is pumping me up, bro. I believe in you. You got. Bro, Mike is pumping me up, bro. We own RBs. Every mother <laughs> on the internet say some sideways shit and they don't even have a car. Oh, this, you know how many times I come to your defense? Oh, thinking man. about right. you. Do this. You Oh, it's not me, it's the car. 